Okay, so now that we've loaded up RoboPro, we can write our first program. But let's first just make sure that our interface is connected. Let's hit the interface test button up at the top here, and it brings up the little window. We want to just make sure that the state of the port is running. Okay, and while we're here, let's take a look at some of the options that we've got. We start off with inputs down here, and these are our digital inputs, and we can see we've got eight of them. Input 1, 2, input 8. So I stands for input, and 8 is its number. So input 5, input 6, input 7, input 8. And then there's a little box next to that. When the input is on, there'll be a little tick in there, like so. When it's off, there'll be nothing. That doesn't necessarily mean the button isn't pressed, that just means it's not receiving any power. So you can think of the buttons like little circuits. As soon as the circuit is connected, it gets a tick. To demonstrate, let's, um, let's take the plugs out of this. And then you can see that if I c touch them together, it's ticked. If I let them go, it's not. So if I plug that in back into my switch now, you can see now it's connected so that when I push the button, it disconnects the wires. Whereas if I'd connected it the opposite way around, like so, it connects them only when I push the button. But we're not interested in buttons this lesson, we're interested in lights. And lights are outputs. So I've connected my light on the interface to M1. M stands for motor 1. And motor 1 is made up of two outputs. So it lets us control the direction of the output. But for a lamp, we don't have to worry about that because if I connect the power on either direction on a lamp, it's still just going to glow the same. So you can see, if I choose clockwise, it's going to glow, back to stop to stop it glowing, and counterclockwise, it's going to glow the same. Now directly below it is a little slider with the number 8 written next to it. That's the power. It's giving 8 power to it, which is full power. And you can see if I lower that, the light gets dimmer. So at the moment, that would be the brightness of the lamp. If a motor was connected, it would be the speed of the motor. And it's the same for both ways. OK. So we know our lamp is connected to M1. Let's try to write a simple program for it. First thing we need to do is we need to go in here, and we need to create a new program. Now you can see our page is turned white, and we've got a little grid on it. That grid is where we can place our different blocks. So let's start the program with this little green man. Then we want to turn our light on. And we can remember that our light is connected to M1. Like so. So there's M1. Let's drop that guy in. And you can see that when I bring him close, it shows a little arrow. That means he's going to connect. If I drop it over here, it's not connected. But if I click and drag it back over there, it is connected. You can imagine that this little man is going to walk out of that block where there's the blue line. And then he's going to walk along the blue line until he finds another block. And when he finds this block, he's going to be inside of it and he's going to read the instructions. And the instructions say, turn motor 1 to clockwise at full power. So he's going to run off and do that and come back. But he's so fast you won't even notice. So now we want to slow down the program because this program is so fast that if I didn't we wouldn't notice anything happening. Let's grab a time delay and drop it in there. Now what that's going to do is it's going to tell the little man to wait for one second. So he's come in here, he's turned the motor on, he's come down here, next block, now he's going to wait for one second. What's that? What that's going to do is it's going to slow the program down so that we can see it. Right. Now we want to stop the program. Right. Now we want to stop the light. 
we want to turn the light off um, but there's no stop option let's grab a motor block and drop that guy in there and drag it underneath there so it connects but okay so now we want to turn the light off but there's no off option here there's only motor one clockwise at full speed okay well let's drag that way that one in anyway and then let's right click on him because remember you dragged it in with the left click the left mouse button and now we're going to use the other mouse bun button on it the left one the right one the right click um, okay now you can see we've got some options and you can see that we've got motor output and we can choose M1, 2, 3 and 4 like in the test interface and we can also choose action and there's stop okay so right now the image is set to motor and of course it'll say stop because that's the language we use with motors if I change the image to a lamp it says off which is a bit easier to understand it doesn't actually change any of the functioning it still does the same thing it just makes it easier to understand so you can either leave that if you don't want to change it or you can change it to a lamp if you want it to look nice okay and let's just change this other one to lamp so that you can take a look now you can see CW means reverse so let's put that on on it doesn't change anything it just looks pretty right now let's tell him our programs done so let's grab a little stop man and drop him in there okay it's time to give it a go so we want to start our program now over here you can see there's a little green button for go start the program in online mode and it starts it and you can see our light turned on for one second then it pops up this pops up a message the program terminated okay that's a good thing that means the program finished and it didn't have any errors you can see if I had not connected my block properly and there wasn't a little arrow there if I run it now it says the exit of the time delay element is not connected so this is the time delay element and it's not connected to anything else because there's no little arrow so let's go back there and let's put the little arrow in okay what I did is I clicked there and I got a little arrow and then I drew it to there so you need to make sure that all your blocks are connected okay let's try run it now and it works again perfect program terminated that's good that's all good and well to make it flash once but let's try make it flash forever or at least until we push the little stop button so we don't want the little man to stop walking by himself so let's delete that now I can either click on him and push the delete button or I can click the delete program element and now you can see I've got the little delete mouse and I can click on that little thing there let's undo that quickly if I wanted to delete both of them at the same time I can click there and drag the red dotted line around them so anything that falls fully with inside of fully inside these red dotted lines is going to be selected mm. so let's select that and push delete you can see that one didn't fall fully within it so it's obviously not going to be selected right so let's take a look what happens if we do this now what do you think is going to happen? let's run the program the lights just staying on you can remember that I said this little man is super super fast so he gets here he turns the light on he waits one second he turns it off and then he doesn't wait he just goes back there and turns it on instantly so there you can't see it being off because it's off for such a small amount of time that us slow humans can't see it so we need to put another time delay in there so that us slow humans can see it so let's select this line and push delete then let's grab another time delay block and drop him underneath there if I didn't drop him underneath there I dropped him too far by mistake or something I can either drag him closer or I can click there and draw the line manually then I can just move him back up there because I like to keep my programs neat because a neat program is an easy to understand program and an easy to understand program is a program where I can find errors easily if my program was a big muddled mess 
I wouldn't be able to see what was wrong if something was wrong. Right, let's grab him, move there, move there, move there, move there. Let's say I started drawing my line and it got all crazy like. Now what do I do? Ah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Push escape on your keyboard and that'll stop drawing the line. Now I can click on the line and delete it. Great. So let's try to do that again. Click, 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 and click. If I drew my line, all skew-like, I can actually, without deleting it, I can go back and grab those points and fix the line up. Okay, let's run this one and see what it does. There we go. We can see that our light is flashing. Now you can remember that you could right click on these and bring up its properties. You can also right click on the start on the time delay. And let's change that to half a second. Half a second is 0 0.5 seconds. Right click 0 0.5 seconds. Now you can see it flashes faster. Let's make it really fast. 0 0.1 0 0.1 There we go. Super, super quick. Great. That's your first program. Well done. Move on and uh, take a look at what comes next.